Good morning friends, my name's Ted and it's great to join you for morning prayer here in the prayer workshop. The night has passed and the day lies open before us, so before we do anything else, let's pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence as revealed in your word, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. If you haven't done today's readings yet, then now is an excellent time to do so. Go on, take all the time you need. We'll be here when you get back. Our verse for today comes from our first lesson, Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 11. On that day you will not be put to shame for all the wrongs you have done to me, because I will remove from this city those who rejoice in their pride. Never again will you be haughty on my holy hill. Let's pray. Creator Spirit, Advocate promised by our Lord Jesus, increase our faith and help us to walk in the light of your presence to the glory of God the Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We begin afresh the work of the sword and the trowel, of building the kingdom of heaven on earth. The new week has begun, hopefully restored after a holy rest. It is probably a good idea to remind ourselves of the attitude we are to have as we set our hands again to the task set before us. Today, Zephaniah is concluding his prophecy, where all of history will conclude, the blessings of God upon his people. If we remember our method of reading biblical prophecy, we can see that all this has happened, is yet to happen, and is happening now in different ways, of course, as God gradually reveals his ultimate plan through the course of time. It is comforting to read this final section of the book and know that this is where we are all headed, a place with no shame and no pride, no lies and no fear. When Christ returns and brings all things to its end, we will be resurrected into this perfect life, finally freed from sin entirely and blessed with the vision of Jesus face to face. In another way, we know that Christ's death on the cross was where the victory was won, and his resurrection sealed the deal. And so we could say that, since our end is so bright, so too is the brightness of our now. Therefore, as we look up to another week of kingdom work, Let's take the opportunity to get into the frame of mind that our Lord desires of us. Do not let your hands hang limp. The Lord our God is with us. He is mighty to save. He will take great delight in us. He will quiet us with his love. He will rejoice over us with singing. What is your attitude towards the work to which God has called you? How might you do such work cheerfully, looking towards your glorious future? Let's pray. God with us, you rejoice when I do your will. Give me the grace to love this work, and view all things in the mirror of the wonderful eternity you have planned for me. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thanks for joining me today, friends. We'll see you again tomorrow. And in the meantime, God did not give us a spirit of cowardice, but a spirit of power and of love and of self-discipline. May we rekindle this gift of God within us. Amen.